Welcome to Greg and Mortis's Little World of Horror. This is my Blu-ray DVD update. It's Saturday, August 2nd. Typically, I do these every Sunday or at least every other week, depending on if I buy movies for the week. Uh, this week, I'm going to do it on Saturday, and I do have a pretty good stack of Blu-rays mainly, and I have a couple DVDs. I just I came around some awesome deals this week. And so I'm very excited to uh, show these. The two DVDs I'm going to be showing, I've actually showed uh, in my packaging mail, uh, unpackagings that I've done the last couple of days. And I'll go ahead and just re-show them for you viewers that haven't seen it. But I have done a separate video on those, but I will re-show them just real quickly. But uh, to all the new subscribers, what's up? Thank you. Help me now, help me. I know somebody's uh, started sharing the videos. I want to get up to a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, gazillion. Help me get there, man. I want a lot of subscribers. The more subscribers, the more viewers, the more that I feel like I'm loved. Help me feel loved. I, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm not loved. Like the people don't love me. So help me feel loved. But with that, if you don't follow me at Land of the Creeps, definitely check out our podcast. Land of the Creeps, you can do that at landofthecreeps.blogspot.com. Got a new episode coming out this Tuesday. We're going to be looking at the Toxic Avenger. Can't go wrong with that. So that's going to be a fun-filled episode. That'll be out this Tuesday. But with that, nothing new going on in the life of Greg and Mortis. So let's go ahead and, and break into these movies right here. First one, like I said, I've done this on unpackaging, unbubbling video the other day. But once again, it is Axeman that just came out, uh, I believe, this year by midnight releasing. And just wanted to show that once again. There you go. They were axing for it. Very, very entertaining film that I highly recommend. Get your hands on it. Uh, it's a good independent flick. And Justin Thanay, the director, super talented. Very good movie. The other one was the one that I got from my good friend, Kelly Kyle. What's up, Kelly? Peace to you, buddy. And that was, uh, he had sent me the DVD of Salem's Lot, 1979, I believe it was, Stephen King. And I absolutely love this movie. So I just went over them real quickly. Uh, like I said, if you want to see the full unbubbling and that, just go back, you know, the last couple of weeks and you'll see that. Uh, let me start off here. I uh, went to Movie Stop the other day. And pick this one up. This is the still book of Braveheart with Mel Gibson. There you go. And this has like the little slip top thing that comes with it, just a little plastic placer card. That's the actual back of the still book. There you go, Braveheart. And uh, once again, still book. Open it up. There you go. You got your Blu-ray DVD inside it. Just watched this one the other day. It's the first time I've watched it in a few years, and I was really excited, man. It's such a great film. This is Warner Brothers Paramount release, and uh, if you've never seen Braveheart, it's a really, really entertaining film with a lot of action. I uh, love Mel Gibson in this movie. Uh, as far as my favorite, though, I lean as far as these style flicks. The other Mel Gibson, The Patriot, I like The Patriot a little bit better than Braveheart, but with that, Braveheart's still a tremendous film. I absolutely love it. So I'm hoping they have that in a steelbook version so I can get it as well. But once again, it is Braveheart. It's got a bunch of bonus features, commentaries, uh, just a lot of good stuff in here. If you've never seen Braveheart, definitely check that one out. So I picked that up at Movie Stop for uh, $7.99, brand new. Uh, the next two, uh, this one, and I'm on a mission to own all of his films on Blu-ray, and I'm very fortunate because most of his films I can pick up between $5 and $7 or cheaper on Blu-ray, especially used, but it's Stone Cold Steve Austin. This one's called Tactical Force. Never seen it, never heard of it, but I've seen it for $5.99 on Blu-ray used up at the movie stop so I picked it up with the slip cover case uh, there you go just the exact same cover as far as up under it uh, this one's got Michael J Michael J White this drill just got real 
and uh, surrounded by criminals, nowhere to go. Uh, special features, you got fight sequence, trailer, and inside tactical force. Don't know a lot about it, but I'm very excited to check it out. I do love Stone Cold Steve Austin as a uh, actor. This is from Vivendi, V-I-V-E-N-D-I -E Entertainment. But it's called Tactical Force. I'll let you know what it's like, if it's worth picking up. But like I said, I'm on a mission to pick up every one of his Blu-rays. Uh, just I, I'm a fan of Stone Cold Steve Austin. This other one is another Mel Gibson. It's another side mission I'm on is to get all of Mel Gibson's or majority of Mel Gibson's films on Blu-ray. Picked up the Braveheart. This one is Edge of Darkness. This is one of his uh, later movies. Uh, I think this one came out in 2000 and uh, 2010. Don't know anything about this one, but it is called Edge of Darkness. Picked it up. It was only two dollars and ninety-nine cent used on Blu-ray. Could not pass that up. Uh, supposed to have a digital copy. So looks like you insert the disc and then you put it. I don't really care much about the digital stuff. I, I've got you know the voodoo and all this stuff. I, I don't use it. I've got some in my player, but I don't ever go to watch them. If I'm gonna watch a movie, I'm gonna just put the hard disc in. And that's not knocking any of you that do it. I just like to have a physical copy there. But a crackling, high-energy thriller that delivers from start to finish, Edge of Darkness. Let me know what you think of it. $2.99. Couldn't pass that up. Okay, these next two I just picked up today at my local Walmart. I really wanted this one. I've seen uh, a lot of videos. It's just came out recently. I will say I'm not expecting much out of this because this is a Mill Creek release, but it is The Legend of Billy Jean. Love this movie. I have not seen this movie since probably the early 2000s to late 90s. It's from 1985, and uh, just I hope it holds up. I really do. I remember watching it when I was younger, and I absolutely loved it. $7.88, brand new at your Walmarts. Definitely recommend picking it up. Uh, got Christian Slater and all these, but it's just one of them revenge. Uh, she becomes a hero style flick. Doesn't have any bonus features except for a commentary track with Helen Slater and uh, Yardley Smith. But I do remember really enjoying it, so I hope it does hold up. But it's The Legend of Billy Jean. If you got a local Walmart, which I'm sure you do, go ahead and pick it up for $7.88. The other one, everybody should have this in your collection. This is a movie, if you do not own it, you better own it. And that's the 1985 The Goonies. Pick that one up for $7.88. I know there is a box set, and I will eventually get that. And this one may possibly be given away or sold. I don't know yet. But uh, there is a box set for like $35 that has uh, some stuff in there extra with it. Uh, this one right here has the uh, special features. It's got commentary with hidden video treasures by Richard Donner, the director. You also got some uh, making of uh, Cindy Lauper video. The Goonies are good enough music video, soundtrack, that kind of deal. But like I said, everybody should own The Goonies, man. One of the greatest movies of all time in my eye, The Goonies. You can never go wrong with it. So $7.88. Goodbye. All right, the next ones, uh, the next few anyways, I picked up at a place called Game Giant in Winston-Salem. I mean Winston-Salem in Wilmington. That's where I used to be from. Wilmington, North Carolina. Game Giant. They typically have games, and they'll have anything from the old Nintendos, Ataris, to everything, but they do have Blu-rays. Uh, picked this one up, and this is another one of those must-own. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo. But it is 1982, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, 1982. It's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Absolutely love this film. This is one of those go-to films uh, that just makes me laugh every time I watch it. Sean Penn, Jennifer Jason Lee, And this one's got a lot of bonus features. I picked this one up for $5.99. Uh, you got your Blu-ray inside. Bam. Uh, hadn't even opened this one yet. Uh, you got your DVD, which has an actual cover there. But man, some kind of 
100 years of Universal. It's got a digital copy. I'll cover that up. If you want that digital copy, hit me up. Maybe I'll send it to you. But anyways, that's E.T. Jaws on the front of it. Celebrating the 100 years of Universal. And this was released by Universal. But it's the classic, man. The classic Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Bonus features you're getting on it. You get uh, reliving our Fast Times at Ridgemont High documentary. Feature commentary with uh, director uh, Amy Heckler. Heck Girling, there you go, and screenwriter Cameron Crowe. You also got uh, Scene Companion with the U Control, the music of Fast Times at Ridgemont High, all kinds of good stuff. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, that's another one that I think everybody should own in their collection. $5.99. Now, the next four I've got right here uh, picked up at Game Giant as well. They got a deal where you buy three, you get one free. So they take the lowest amount, of course, of the, all of them, and that's your free one. So I picked up. I want to get all these eventually on Blu-ray. I'm missing number two and three, and I'll have them all. And it's the Saw, the original. Uh, they had this in there, and this has got a bunch of bonus features as well. And I know there's a lot of haters of Saw. I actually enjoy it. I think it's a really good film. Uh, and wow, look at this, fans. I have just opened this up and now I'm going to have to take it back. First time I opened it up because they have put saw number four. Saw number four in the number saw. Go figure. I've already got saw four so I'm glad I'm doing this video because guess who gets to go back to Game Giant and say give me my damn movie because I already own saw four. There you go. Give me the wrong damn disc. What a jackass these people are. So I will be going to Game Giant and actually getting my saw. So there you go. If you buy used movies like I do, maybe we should double check them because obviously there's some goober in there that don't know what the hell they're doing. But anyways, it's supposed to be the original Saw. I'm going to put this one off the side and make me a side trip to Game Giant and get my damn movie. <laughs> uh, the next one, this is a series. Uh, there's five movies in the series. Two of them are not that great. There's a couple to three that are really good. This is a classic, and it's the original Wrong Turn with Elijah Dushku. I love, love, love this movie. Uh, don't care what anybody says. This is an amazing film that's cannibalistic slash serial killer slash whatever you want to call it. A Wrong Turn has never been so terrifying. A must-see. So I picked that one up. And let me make sure, yep, the original wrong turn, thank God. But there you go, got a bunch of spo uh, uh, special bonus features on it. So there again, there was four, basically buy three, get four. So I ended up getting all four of these for $20. I got to take this one back, but uh, wrong turn. The third one I picked up, love this film. This one was released in, uh, uh, not 2011, 1996, and it stars Michael J. Fox, and it's The Frighteners. Absolutely, absolutely love this movie. It's real creepy, real funny at the same time. Uh, Michael J. Fox and the ghost that's in it. This one's got a bunch of bonus features as well. And uh, this is the 15th anniversary edition. I just love that cover art. Check that cover art out. It's so bright and blue, and with that case, just makes it really pop. And the spine there, I absolutely love this. This includes two versions of the film, Peter Jackson's director's cut and also the theatrical version, and then just your regular Blu-ray inside. But it does have a special introduction to the director's cut by Peter Jackson, the making of The Frighteners, storyboarding of key scenes, in-depth director's cut, feature commentary, so a lot of cool features, man. If you've never seen The Frighteners, definitely watch it, man. It's such a fun film. So that one. And then this was uh, another one. This wasn't my free one. The free one I actually got ended up being that Saul, but like I said, i got to take it back. But I picked up, I've never seen this film, but it's Battle of Los Angeles. Don't know nothing much about it, but this is a steel book. There you go, the back of it. And then you open it up. This one pissed me off now. I ain't going to lie to you. Who does this? Who in the hell does this? They write their 
freaking name right inside there and then even put their initial on the disc. Who the hell does that? I don't get it. That kind of irritated crap out of me, but for 20 bucks, I got four movies. I couldn't knock it too bad, but you get your Blu-ray, which has the actual, like a cover of the movie, and then the DVD itself is a clear. But there you go. That one was one of them that kind of pissed me off, that why in the hell would you write Roy or Ray Swatkowski? Wherever you're at, dude, I want to beat your ass for writing on that thing, but there you go. Anyways, so those four right there were for 20 bucks. I got to take Saul back once again. I'm, I keep reiterating that. All right, the next six I got here, I just picked up the pawn shop today. All of these are Blu-rays. They're typically $5 each. I walked in and told him, look, I got $20. I want six movies. He didn't want to do it. I got ready to walk. He come back and he caved in. So uh, first one I got, not a huge fan of it, but it's Piranha Double D on Blu-ray. Picked that one up mainly because it was filmed here in Wilmington where I live, so I wanted to go ahead and get it, uh, try to get and support all the films that are in my area. Uh, this one, of course, has David Hasselhoff and the whole crew, but there you go, Piranha Double D and the movie inside there. So not a huge fan of it, but... That's all right, six for 20. This one I was really excited to pick up. This is the original unrated cut. I already own it on DVD, but I've upgraded, and it's The Descent. Such an amazing film. This one I love so much. Spectacularly scary, and I agree. Uh, definitely a claustrophobic cave-style flick with a lot of creatures. Really good effects in this one, man. This is an amazing film. If you've never seen The Descent, you have got to watch it, man. And then the Blu-ray just looks like the cover. And uh, please do yourself a favor and get Descent. It's got some bunch of bonus features behind the scenes, all kinds of stuff. The Descent. So, like I said, all six of these were 20 bucks. Another classic to me, Don't Breathe, Don't Look Back. Twister, The Dark Side of Nature. Bill Paxson, Helen Hunt. Man, I love this movie. Uh, I've loved it since day one, and uh, get you better close up there. Such an amazing film, well shot. I know there's some CGI phoniness going on with the cow scene that's flying around, but that don't bother me one bit. Uh, there's the cover art of the Blu-ray itself. This looks like the DVD. This one was released by Warner Brothers. Uh, got a bunch of spo uh, special features as well, commentary, it's got a new featurette, Chasing the Storm, Twister Revisited. They have the History Ta Channel's documentary, Nature Tech, Tornado's Anatomy of a Twister, HBO First Look, Making a Twister, and Van Halen Humans, Humans Being Music Video. So there you go. Twister. Mwah. And like I said, all these ended up 6 for 20 so I basically got them for a little over $3 each. Another classic that, man, if you don't own this one, please own it. Trading Places with Eddie Murphy, Dan Aykroyd, uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. The first movie she got naked in. There you go. But check that out. Going for Broke. Amazing, awesome film. If you've never seen this one, definitely watch it. It's so funny, man. Such a great 80s film. Absolutely love it. This one's got a uh, insider trading, the making of uh, trading stories, deleted scenes with commentary. Uh, what else has it got? Dressing the part, the trade in, trade in places, trivia pop ups, and promotional place. But this is an awesome, awesome film. Trading places. Glad to pick that one up. Uh, the next one. And this one's from 1990, and this is another classic, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Total Recall. Love this movie as well. I'd love to have the slip cover, but of course they didn't have that. But for $3, I couldn't pass it up. Total Recall on Blu-ray. Glad to have that. Doesn't have a ton of features. Uh, Visions of Mars featurette, interactive menu, so not a whole lot of features. This one was done by Lionsgate. But, uh, if you've never seen Total Recall, definitely check it out. A really good film. And then this one, a bunch of these were blind buys. This one, I don't know why I'd never heard of this one. I really don't. I like this individual. It's uh, Kate Blanch uh, Blanchett and also Russell Crowe. 
But this slip cover case, this is Robin Hood, uh, Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. You open up the slip cover and you got some of this right here. There you go. And then the same as far as your inside your slip cover. Uh, this one right here, like I said, your Blu-ray DVD combo. There you go. Ba bam, ba bam, plus your digital copy, which you put in. So it does have that as well. Um, I don't know anything about this one. Perfect picture and purest digital sound available. Includes two inversions. It's got the unrated theatrical, uh, director's notebook. Uh, portfolio of designs a lot a lot of features on this one this is universal release with the slip cover that has the cool open up I love it and then the back of it man I was glad to get a hold of this one so there you go there again those were uh, I got all six and gave them a twenty dollar bill and walked out the door so there you go all six of these twenty bucks Pick this one up, the Braveheart, for basically $8, brand new factory seal, but I've already watched it. These two were gifts from Kelly Kyle and from Josh uh, Finney, the director of Axe Man, so those were free. These four right here ended up being 20 bucks. There again, damn it, Saul, got to go back and get my first one. Uh, $5.99 for the Fast Times at Ridgemont High. $7.88 for Goonies. 788 for the Legend of Billy Jean and 299 for Edge of Darkness with Mel Gibson and 599 for Tactical Force with Stone Cold Steve Austin. So there is my Blu-ray DVD update. There again it is Saturday, August 2nd. Stay tuned next uh tomorrow. I'll have my movie review. Haven't really decided if it'll be one of these, but I'll definitely have a movie review video. Uh definitely got a new video coming out in the next few days. I'll be entering the Blu-ray King. Uh, contest so hopefully I'll win something there I don't ever win up so I'm not looking to be winning but I hopefully will but if not it'll give you another video you can see some more of my blu-rays so there you go so stay tuned Greg Amortis here definitely give me a thumbs up if you like the video comment below and please 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 share if you haven't subscribed please do that if you do subscribe share the channel with everybody you know and uh, let's see how quick I can get moved up the ranks uh, maybe if I can get up to like 500, maybe I'll do a giveaway contest or something. I'll look at doing something like that. So help me get to, say, 500 subscribers, and we'll throw out a contest. I'll give something away and uh, make it you know worth your while. So do that. And with that, man, just stay tuned. Landofthecreeps.com. I'll have all the links up where you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. So with that, this is Greg Amortis. This is my little world of horror. And I'm signing out for my Blu-ray DVD update for this week. Peace!